Gore readings, flesh wound horror freaks, and welcome to the 12 days of Slashmas, night 11, day 11. <laughs> Fuck, Todd. You- <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Merry fuckers. Christmas Eve. Eve. Merry Christmas Eve. I'm spreading like At least not be done. Um... <laughs> 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 Uh, and that's, just just get it out of the way right now too but uh yeah anyways uh i'm daniel shine uh that's todd Loya. that's pugs dread pugs dread namaste what's up and that's mike kruger ho 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 bitch uh so uh kruger just in case people are jumping in and uh, maybe binging us on their christmas eve tell them how slash miss works well, first off, if you're binging us on Christmas Eve, I'm sorry. <laughs> for, uh, make, sure, make sure you're not watching with family. We're here for you. But uh, <laughs> anyways, what we do for our 12 Days of Slashmas special is rate and review a Christmas-themed slasher. And then at the end of the episode, we eliminate a slasher off the list we compiled from our previous episodes that we deem unworthy of the list, leaving us with three final girls, a.k.a. our top three slashers of the 12 Days of Slashmas. So make sure if you enjoy this episode, go back and check out our previous episodes of this 12 Days of Slashmas series. And previously, our Slashtober special we did back in October. Playlist is on YouTube. So now that that's out of the way, Todd, why don't you give us our Slasher statistics and tell us who's on our final girl list and who's already been eliminated. All right. Our, our three are Jack Frost, Christmas Evil, and Christmas Cru- Cruelty. Eliminated thus far is Cannibal Claws, Secret Santa, Lake Alice, The Dorm That Dripped Blood, Mrs. Claus, Santa Claus, C-L-A-W-S, The Ginger Dead Man, To All a Good Night, Santa's Slay, and Bikini Bloodbath Christmas. Rest in peace. Uh, uh, <laughs> piss. Uh, up for elimination. <laughs> Uh, today we have um, don't open till Christmas, so we're opening it a day early. So we are indeed. Uh, so we're not following uh, rules, we're rule breakers here. <laughs> uh, so don't open till Christmas is a 1984 slasher from director Edmund Purdom, uh, rare UK slasher for the time, and this one. Somebody with very little Christmas spirit is killing anyone in a Santa suit one London holiday season. And Scotland Yard has to stop him before he makes his exploits a bloody tradition. Uh, All right, Kruger, what did you think about uh, Don't Open Till Christmas? Was this the first one for you? Yeah, this was the first time (laughs) watch for me. I'd never even, like, heard of this. Uh, So... I was pretty excited, especially, you know, like you said, it coming from the UK, that's kind of, you know, rare with the video nasty thing going on. Uh, So the story, I thought, kind of played out like a jello, Uh, like with some of the sleaziness and stuff and just the way it's paced. um, It's really like the pacing on this movie is just badass. Like it's nonstop uh, kills from get go till basically the end of the movie. and I, it gets to them like, like I said, like right away and consistently, probably every couple of minutes, you're seeing a Santa Claus get picked off, and I think that's fucking awesome. Uh, the kills themselves are also fucking great. Like they have that great, you know, AD style practical gore, and they don't hold back on the brutality at all. Uh, there's a broken bottle kill in here that's good enough to rival the one New York Ripper, and that's a uh, if that's not a stamp of approval, I don't know what is. Uh, the killer himself is also pretty cool. I dug uh, the different costumes he wore and like the masks and stuff. And you know, the fact that his MO is killing Santa Claus is fucking awesome. Um, the only real problem I had with the movie was the ending. We get qu- answers to the questions we have, but then we're kind of left with some more with such like you know, a abrupt finish. But even with the ending, through all the kills and gore. Totally made up from that minor, you know, little quibble I had. And in hindsight, I love this slasher. And definitely I'm going to watch it every year for Christmas uh, as a tradition. I mean, it's going in that rotation. And it's one of the better AD slashers I've seen in a bit. So uh, I loved it a lot. So what did you think, folks? Uh, well, for me, it's a little too long. 
but that's like the only problem I have with it. It's very straightforward. And even it being semi like straightforward and serious, it's still fun. Uh, it could be mean spirited at time, which I appreciate. Uh, yeah, I, I actually really like this one and um, I'm glad we included it unlike some others, but um, yeah, it's pretty <laughs> good. So what about you, Mr. Todd? Hey. And you can't argue it, it, that it uses Christmas. Um, yeah, this is a longtime favorite for me. Funny thing, I don't know how well you guys know this. Um, this is another one of those weird Vestron tapes that was like out of out of sequence. So it was even more confusing than it should have been. Um, but this one for me has always felt like almost like a Christmas nightmare, like nineteen yeah, the, the film call, nightmare. Sir. Yeah, I can nightmare totally see that. Uh, brain. Those similarities. Um, so you know that alone is going to make me love this one. But it, it it's you know it's nice because it's the reverse of what we always get. We always get a Christmas, um, a killer Santa. It seems like, but going after the Santa, like you know, the killer going after Santa is made for a cool twist on the Christmas slasher film. So that alone makes it memorable. Dan, yeah. What about uh, you? That's a good comparison with Nightmare. It's not in league with Nightmare for me, but uh, definitely good one to binge together if you'd like. Um, the kills, as you said, nonstop. This movie never lets up from from the get go. Uh, I really enjoyed the the sleazy vibe that it did have. Uh, the The Santa concept was really really cool and really unique. Um, and I did. I don't know. This is another one. I, I had trouble getting a hold of this one for a while. And another one I didn't think too highly of back in the day for some reason. And that Vestron thing might have been. Uh, Did, was your first version that, that DVD from Jeff no, Films? No, I, I. Okay, because that one that one retains the mix up version because it's obviously a VHS rip. Yeah, so. this this had a lot of uh issues until Mondo uh put out the their DVD. And there and there is a German Blu-ray. Yes, yes, there is. Um but yeah, no, watching it again, this one has definitely grown on me over the years. It's a ton of fun. And I think the fact that it it, it does, you know, it is set in uh uh England gives it a, a slightly different flavor too because again you really didn't have slasher movies being made there at this time uh, i mean honestly even afterwards it, it took a while you have you have tons of jallos that were made there. yes you did have jallos, but, but not not yeah they, they just i think that's the, why it feels serious I, to me too mm-hmm because it's, it's just because you see like New Scotland Yard yeah, and all that stuff. It reminds me a lot of two of them. Well, we're we're not we haven't reviewed it yet, but um, Cold Day Night, Cold Day of Night. Mm-hmm. Is that what it's called the, the Dennis yeah. Nielsen movie? Yeah, the serial killer. Okay, so it, feels, yeah. it feels like that, and I think I wanted it a little bit more Christmassy, but and, yeah, Sex and Santa don't mix apparently. <laughs> it's a bad combo. <laughs> Never goes well, as we've learned uh, <laughs> reviewing some of these movies. Uh, it's also uh, a product of its time when no. uh, he's uh, with the girl, and then uh, he just goes, they, "They'll think we're a couple of gays." It's like, oh wow, <laughs> definitely 1984. And then the cops. I'm are sure gay. you love that, Dan, because uh, <laughs> you, you hate them too. I love the gay self hater. He- he loves the uh, games. But yeah, no, definitely a product of its time. And there's not 50 different don't open till Christmas is out there. So I, I really appreciate it this time. And uh, uh, yeah, it's gone up. It's still like, it's not, I wouldn't still call, I wouldn't call it a classic slasher, but it's a really, really good one from really the last year of the golden era. Yeah. Well, on that, do we want to rate this? Yeah. Kruger, Zero, you, five, you can go. Five, I know we have spoilers today, yeah, because I know you're going to want to talk kills. Oh yeah. <laughs> so so um, um, I was originally going to give it a four, but I got to give it a four and a half, man, out of five. Uh, it's really fucking good, and definitely one of the. Uh, I mean, Dan, you said it's not a classic, but but to me, I, I I'd consider it a fucking classic. And this is this, uh, and you know, to all good night. Uh, are definitely you know two new ones that have been on this list that I'm gonna 
add every single year, and I'm going to watch them like I do with uh, all my other favorites. So, uh, Pugs, what do you rate it? I'm going to give this one a four out of five. It's fucking solid. The only, my only gripe was that it feels a little too long, but I can't complain other than that. Todd? I'm a, I'm a four and a half also. Um, I, I, I have too much fun with this one, but I will say, first time I watched it, I think I was a little underwhelmed too, but I also thought it was a killer Santa movie. So, and I don't even know how old I was when I saw it. So, but over the years, it's grown and grown on me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I'm a four. I really like the movie a lot. I think it's uh, definitely one you want to put in your holiday rotation. All right. Now here's high the, recommendations. This, yeah. And, and now let's see how high of a recommendation. So now up for elimination, we have Jack Frost, Christmas Evil, Christmas Cruelty, and Don't Open Till Christmas. Kruger, who would you like to eliminate? Um, this is hard for me, man. Like, yeah, huh? but uh, I have to go with Jack Frost. I love Jack Frost. Uh, it's a great fucking movie. Uh, but it gets a lot of love already, and uh, I'm I'm all for putting on one that maybe not some people know about. So, uh. Don't open till Christmas is going to bump out Jack Frost for me. Okay. This was also a struggle for me, but I'm going to have to eliminate my boy, Jack Frost. Wow. I I'm, I'm the one that's probably gonna be shocking. Then I struggled a lot too, but I felt like this one was just a little more Christmassy. So I'm eliminating Christmas cruelty. I am also eliminating Christmas cruelty because that's not in, Par with the rest of the films for me at all. So we got another no, time. Just oh. fucking shit. Now I'm gonna get pissed off. <laughs> I, I love that with scenes, but it, yeah. <laughs> uh, fucking, I forgot his name, but the Santa and Christmas cruelty will melt the fuck out of Jack Frost. Yeah, and, he would fuck, and, like, and he's he fucked up the real person. Brutal. Yeah, I'm gonna make the same argument I did with Ginger Dead Man. How do you expect a killer snowman? He's getting he fucking even knows he will puree that carrot motherfucker <laughs> dude there is no chance that this dude in real life too super now, now, now you imagine <laughs> that same curse happens to homeboy in christmas cruelty everyone <laughs> in that town is getting raped you, you understand you guys are making me choose snowman rape or traditional rape so this is Good. very difficult <laughs> dude the red fire truck todd come on uh, okay you know i, I, I flipped Jack Frost piece. Okay. Yeah. Jack Frost. That I is a bloody a snow truck. cone, man. <laughs> <sighs> but, you know, Jack F- Frost made it almost all the way. Jack Frost so. is yeah, a it, this it, takes it, away from him. That was the first episode that we did, and we're on fucking day 11. So yeah. if that's not enough recommendation for Jack Frost, I don't know what the fuck is. Uh, I mean, je- definitely check that out. But fucking... Christmas, Christmas cruelty, man, is just oh my god, it's way more brutal. And like, like Pug said, that guy would fucking rape Jack Frost with a knife. Like, yeah, <laughs> it would have a little he snow. He doesn't feel that. He could freeze the knife. You do understand they killed Jack Frost in the movie. Jack right? Frost yeah. came so. back. Uh, they oh, killed him in the city. Got killed the Our, our buddy in Christmas it's cruelty is still alive, yeah. <laughs> living a great mm-hmm. life. <laughs> man we need to like f- talk to that director and be like dude we need a sequel like now please <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> all right well before we get to spoilers yeah. so dan why don't you tell the people what's what uh all right guys so uh be sure to like share and subscribe here on youtube we really appreciate it very 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 much let the Christmas spirit flow through you. Uh, also, fleshwindfeatures.com. Check it out for all your shopping needs. And pugs. Oh, we are on Patreon. So tis the season. And if you're feeling uh, giving this Christmas Eve, check that out. And donations are at just a buck. And you get exclusive content. And most importantly, uncensored. And there is a Black Christmas uh, 2019 commentary that never, you definitely want to check out. So please and never. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, sign up. Your... Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Please do not.
Or I think someone did get sued for saying that. Yes. I can't remember who it was. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, it was, it was Pee -wee, I think it was Pee Wee Herman. Hold on. No, no, no. It was like <laughs> days before that. Uh, fuck. It was oh, like bleep a, that out. I want to get sued. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't. Get permission. If yeah, get permission from horrible, Granny and then watch Black Christmas, our Black Christmas commentary with her, and she'll have a good time. It's family bonding. Watch Christmas Cruelty with her. There At, you yes. go. Everybody should. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So spoilers now. All right. Yes. So if you don't wish Let's for this to be spoiled, now would be the time to bow out. Uh, so uh, Kruger, you're itching to talk about those kills. Yeah. So like, just first off, the body count on this movie is fucking insane. You know what I mean? Like, just it, it's so consistently like probably every i would say every three minutes there's kills and that first um the opening sequence was good but the one that got me like all right we're ready to party was when the fucking spear got the santa claus in the back of the head and it comes out the fucking mouth at the mm -hmm. costume party badass and the shrunken mask uh the shrunken head mask the killer was wearing like looks super cool too and then like the piano fucking wire strangulation that he fucking sticks his head on the burner from outside. Oh, dude, that shit looked like it hurt. <laughs> and, like, even, like, kills that weren't, you know, super creative, like, you know, there's a kill where he just shoves a pistol in the motherfucker's mouth, blow, you know, blows his brains out. Even that looks so good because, like, when it happened, his fucking, he, you know, is hunched over and then you see the back of his head, you know, all fucking blown out and shit. And just the gore it was just really impressive. And then the broken bottle kill I was talking about, just the way it fucking hits him in the throat and then in the eye and rips that fucking eyeball out. Like that shit looked like fuck. It hurt like a motherfucker. And like I said, that that has to rival New York Ripper for me for best broken bottle kill ever. The grill kill I thought was always pretty cool. Always kind of made me laugh. Yeah, too. that's what. Yeah, yeah, shit. Well, because it, it was kind of unexpected because you know he had the piano wire there, and you're like, oh, he's you know it's just gonna be one of those. But then you're like, oh shit, there's a burner there, and he gets him. And this the way they made you know with the makeup, it just it looks so good. Like I was so I was super impressed with this movie. You you brought up the. Uh... Uh, you were confused or brought up more questions at the ending because I didn't really care for the ending that much either when the TV blows up. I, I thought that was kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, it just, it, the way it was just kind of like abrupt, like, you know, like, you know, we're learning about the killer and everything like that. And then it just, yeah, with the TV, it just, it, it, conf it confused me. It's like, what did you get from that, Todd? Um, Honestly, I I still am kind of like the ending it's, it's, isn't yeah isn't very good, but yeah, but I mean every the ride up to there it, it's so strong yeah. that I can overlook that. Yeah, that's why I couldn't like I was I wanted to give it a five. Honestly, if it would have like the landing at the ending, I could have I could have easily gave it a five. Uh, but yeah, just uh, and just the the kills like I the reason I said it feels like a Jalo is just because you know like you know how Jalos have like they kind of don't hold like some of them don't hold back on the brutality and it catches you off guard like that's kind of what what I was getting out of it and then you know with the cop story and stuff like that that you know and following you know the cops around that was kind of reminding me of like a Jalo too but uh. <clears throat> those fucking photographers were hilarious mm -hmm. they're fucking just, you know just hooking up with models left and right and shit he's like oh yeah take down your shirt <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean I, i'm not gonna hand on it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like that just i love that i love that sleaze that you just don't, like that's the type of sleaze i like yeah. when it's just it's sprinkled in there it's not you know the whole fucking movie but you have these characters that are just slime balls and like that i, I love that um all the characters honestly yeah. in this movie were pretty entertaining like i even liked like you know the hooker or not hooker but fucking peep uh show, what girl. was she like a set yeah peep show girl like I, I just like I liked her dynamic with you know everything going on yeah. and stuff. So uh yeah, like definitely check this out. Yeah. 
You know, you said it's sleazy, and that just reminded me of, uh, for some reason, the Greasy Strangler. Can you imagine a Greasy Strangler Christmas? That'd be fucking cool. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Uh, greasy Strangler. Uh, Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, all oh, right, do we have any more spoilers so on this me. one? Nope. Uh, so guys, we hope you're getting tons and tons of presents. We wake up to that and we hope you really enjoyed, uh, these shows up to now. Don't forget to listen tomorrow on the big day. And again, like, share, subscribe, and follow us across all the social media bullshits. And please, from all of us, have a merry and happy, safe Christmas Eve and Christmas day. So everybody say good night. One day, Dan will ask us if we have any That's final thoughts idea. before we go straight to the final but thought. Yeah, fuck everyone else. So, good night. Good night. <laughs> Stay sick, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs>